Good evening, YouTube. We're going to do a, an episode here of Terry's Dashboard Cam. And we're going to be a little dark tonight, so I'm, obviously I'm just getting off work. But we're going to take a slight little detour before we park it at home for the night. I'm going to have to car warm up a little bit there because it is cold. Slightly below freezing, but with the wind chill, it's a wee bit colder than that, so... Uh, finished a day of work. Call it good. I think we're gonna take. Uh, God, these cold nights. I hate to go down Centennial or down Magnolia to Centennial, but I think that's what we're gonna do. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe we'll put her up on the interstate tonight. I haven't done that much lately. I shouldn't be driving 40 down this road, but uh, all right. turn here off of Virginia Court onto Virginia Drive. I don't know if they thought it was a good idea to name two streets. Same thing, but all right. could be worse. Could be like over by the water park. The intersection of Kenwood Park Drive and Kenwood Park Drive. <laughs> Only Salina. If you're not from Salina and you're watching from another town, if you have an intersection with the same street names, please comment below. I would love to hear that ignorance. <laughs> <coughs> here and head north to Crawford. I hadn't planned initially on going this way, but I changed my mind at the very last second. So we get past this green light and up to the next green light. Hopefully it warms up a bit tomorrow. I might be... If I could get one night to warm up where I have this car, I might do a bit of a more adventurous dashboard camp so it's not the same thing over and over. Oh, anyway. Merge on the 135 here and oops, like hell. Nobody's behind me. I'm not behind me. Oh, looks kind of like it. I need to fix that mirror. No, no, I don't. <laughs> All right, here we go. 135, board bound. take a little bit of a detour. In a nutshell, before I went to work today, and I, I had been thinking I would have popped on the dashboard cam, there was a humongous police presence north of where I live down the street. 
uh, closer to where my good friend Jimmy lives, and I didn't get really a lot of time to investigate it because unfortunately I had to be to work at 2.30 today, so now that I'm off work and I've got just a little bit of time to play with here, because obviously I'm going to go home and shower and make some dinner here shortly, but uh, I want to see exactly... Exactly what I mean. I don't even know if there's still police. We're gonna find what well, my cure I'm getting tongue tied. I'm curious to know if there's actually still a police presence um, down here. So we'll find out shortly. Man, I don't know that's how dirty that windshield actually is. Oh, it's okay. My apologies to those of you watching that are seeing water spots and whatnot. That's remnants from the last bit of snow that we had here within the last couple of weeks. And fortunately, fortunately, that's not an issue as uh, that's not in the forecast anytime soon. It's supposed to be a very nice weekend. It is, by the way, Friday night, January 21, 2022. And this is ordinarily that I'd park right here. Obviously, from what I can see, as soon as I turn down the street, the police presence has, um, it's not there. Not like it was. Um, this is Charles Street we're crossing. We're going to get down here, and I'm actually going to drive by through here and see if there's any type of law enforcement presence. They actually had, they actually had the street blocked off from right here at Prescott down to Morrison, I believe it was. And Morrison's not very far down here. Not seeing any leftover PD vehicles of any sort. Looks like the house in question is nice and peaceful, so nothing going on. No police vehicles in the vicinity, so whatever was going on, it's ended. Not sure, but as soon as I say that, there's a police vehicle right there. <laughs> just been patrolling but that after earlier today seems a little out of the ordinary so we're not going to tempt fate <laughs> This edition of the dashboard cam wanted to find out if there was a police presence still in the area oh I made that dark didn't I holy cow <laughs> oh yeah um, police presence so that's a good thing this neighborhood sometimes man I'm telling you anyway comment like subscribe hit that notification bell right next to that subscribe button so you know when the next one's coming and we might We'll see tomorrow night. I know I'm going to an event tomorrow night. There's a pretty good chance I may be driving this tomorrow night. We'll play it by ear, but if we do, I might take a little drive around and do a, a 
little different camp. Anyway, we'll see you in the next one. Good night, YouTube.